Buffalo too today. Oh yeah. Okay. Nine twenty six twenty four. After much, much, much discussion with Eldon and Miss Escalante, I've decided not to give you a quiz today. I know you all have been wanting a quiz. Yeah, I want a quiz. All right, so we are recording. Your wish will be granted next week. Next week? Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay, well, let's focus on the math, and then you can focus on your vocabulary after the math, Sam. All right. Canvas is more accurate than Aries for me. Like 10 after? Yes. 10? 14. Okay. 5 and 1 half divided by 3 and 4 sevenths. I don't know. I don't know what that's going to give us. It's probably not going to give us anything nice. Okay, so do we need common denominators? Uh, no, no. No, we do not need common denominators. We do not need common denominators uh, when dividing. What's the first thing we have to do? Make them into an improper fraction. Improper fraction. So I'm going to go outside, close the door. Turn those improper fractions. Do we have to do it? Huh? Can you give me the whole thing? I mean, if you know, you know. Oh, okay. See if your answer matches my answer. And if it doesn't, I'm going to go over it right now. Yep. Multiply by the reciprocal. So who can tell me the first uh, improper? 11 over 2. Okay. Agrayer, can you give me the second one? Okay. Ooh, I am so sorry I did that to you. What? Because you can't simplify. Once you flip it, once you sit, yeah, it's not that hard. Oh, no, it's not really hard. I take that back. It's, it's actually, it's really nice. It's really easy. Good job, Mr. Mike, for giving them not so hard problems. Uh, I was trying to give you one that you can simplify the corners, but I did not do the math correctly. All right. So... Keep, change, flip. So these two are the reciprocal. Notice that we change it. There was, um, you have to flip all of your second fractions. There were some of you that I graded. Uh, yesterday, you have to flip the second fraction. Always, always, always flip the second fraction. All right, so what's our answer? 27 over 1. 1 and 27 over 50. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. It's 77. 11 times 7. 2 times 25 is 50. So we have ele uh, one whole 27 over 50. Okay. All right. Um, let's see. Let's uh, do. Oh. Okay, we'll do one more like this. One more. One and. Uh, Someone give me a fraction. Three. Three. Okay. Give me a number. Five and five. Ten. All right. Five Sure. Okay, we'll do that. Yay. Improper first. That's your first step. Change it into improper. Okay, what's our first improper? Q 
Heel, what's her second improper? 38, I said heel. That I did. I did not just like when he cut you off. I, that's why I said Gregory. Um, uh, 30, 38 over seven. Oh, it was so close, so close. But sorry. Um, seven over four times seven over thirty-eight. Nothing in the corners. Boo. What is your answer? Oh, you got to multiply 7 times 7. 49. 49. And then what's 4 times 38? 152. And then think. Mm. Thinking. Yay. Does 3 go into 49? Let me check my multiplication no. chart. Has no, it doesn't. Does not. It goes into 48, huh? No. So, and... 14. What goes into 49? Never mind. Nothing, right? Nothing. Is there any number that goes into 49? Seven. seven. Oh, seven. Okay. Oh. Does does uh, 50, 152 and 7 match? Yes. No. 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 Seriously? Yeah. No way. 19, you said? 7 times 19. No. Wrong. Yes. No. Wrong. no. 7 oh, wrong times 19. Oh, nope. Times 19. Yeah. Oh. I was like, man, we got real lucky. But no, so therefore, this is it. Let's go. Let's go. Where are we going? <laughs> Yay, good challenge, good challenge. Okay, now let's change it. Let's change a little. Let's change a little. What if I go 6 divided by 1 and 1 half? Light work, no reaction. Wow, that's really cool. What do we have to do? What's up? Turn the six into a fraction. Nice. So six turns into six over one. Divided by what? One and one half is equal to three over two. And then. 6 over 1 times 2 over 3 is equal to? 12 over 21. Huh? Yeah, you can simplify the corners. You can simplify the corners for sure, for sure. Simplify the corners. Simplify corners is what can I divide the corners by? So can I divide 6 and 3? Yep. Yep. So I can divide this by 3. That by 3 gives you a 1, gives you a 2. And we end up with 4. Giant 4. Yes. Giant 4. All right. So what if it's backwards? What if I give you 4 and 1 fifth divided by 5? 4 and 1 fifth divided by 5. What's the first thing I have to do? Yeah, make the 5 into a fraction by 5 over 1 divided by what? What's 4 and 1 fifth as an improper fraction? 21 over 5. 21 over 5. Good. Now keep change flip, otherwise known as multiply by the reciprocal. Yay. That's 21 over 25. 21 over 25? Yes. Yeah. Is there anything I can divide? Oh shoot, I'm behind. So this turns into 21 over 5 times 1 over 5, which is equal to 21 over 25. That ain't, that's not bad. Are we going to have notebook checks? You're the second person who's asked me that. Ever? Today. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh today. Today. And this is the first period, no? Yeah. So it all came from you guys. And I mean, I could tell you to turn to, you know, September 28th and take a picture of your notes on September 28th. And if your notes don't match my notes. So I have to add the division up here. 
I don't even know if there, if there is a September 28th note. You know, I always put my date. 21st. I don't always put the date. Oh. 29. Missed it by one day. Wait, when was that? Oh, wait, I remember that. Was it? What was this? I don't know. It was Wait, September. I said September 28th, right? How did it even happen? This is August. My brain, my brain was like. <laughs> maybe you know what I really want to do as a teacher. This is what I really, really want to do. Maybe, maybe this is the year I'll do it. I create a test, right? I'm ready, good. And question number one is the answer to the pro to the first problem in your note on September 28th. Yeah, I know. So yeah, no, I would be like, okay, so question number one, what is the answer to the first question on, what's today's date? 26. On September 26th. What's your, the first answer to the first problem we did on September 26th. So what was our first answer today? So... That was our first question, right? Yeah. So I wouldn't give you the problem. All I would say is, what was the first answer to the first problem we did on our notes? Yeah. Sounds my, interesting. But my it. question is, that is that a test or is that just a note? Because that's not even. It's both. I think it's both. Yeah, it's both. Are you just gonna keep on giving those answers on that one test, though? Oh, and then I would be like. What was the answer to number five on the homework from September 24th? Hey, I, have, I, have, I, have, I have all of it. I have all of it. I have all of it. Yeah. Have all of it. Yeah. All and then, what was the answer to question number 10 on the worksheet that says, why did the airhead oh, like I, blah, I have blah, that blah, too. Blah. Actually, yeah, I have that too. I have everything. I have everything. I have, everything. I have not thrown out anything. That I would love to. Yeah, so that that would be. Hey, if you do that for the homework, I have everything. Right? I have everything. Well, then, then would. Is it this one? Hello? Oh, my God. Are you okay? What's happening? We're by yourself right now. So I was trying to help him out. Thank <laughs> you. 